Ever since man discovered how to create fire, there has been a continued quest to find ways of prevention. Here in Britain, one man has made a series of astounding achievements to render common materials fireproof. Mick Keenan has been researching into fire treatment chemicals for over 20 years. I acquired my knowledge by going into the local libraries, um, uh, reading books on the subject, um, and then I obtained chemical books that I could begin to understand the fundamentals of chemistry. This sheet of newspaper has been half treated with mixed secret formula. On the left is the untreated half, and as you can see, it only takes a moment to ignite. The right half, on the other hand, has been treated. The blowtorch cannot set fire to the paper. It really is fireproof. The applications for paper and cardboard would or could be the use of or to make ordinary doors. You could make office petitions from it, ceiling boards from it, structures from it. I've, I've fireproof cardboard um, and received class one spread of flame and a class O fire propagation certificate, which means that I've now turned cardboard, fluted cardboard, into the equivalent of asbestos. Polyurethane foam is used extensively in the industry, but gives off a lethal cocktail of poisonous fumes when ignited. This polyurethane foam has had the Keenan treatment, and as you can see, refuses to burn. In fact, its fire-resistant properties would now actually make the foam a life-saving barrier. Well, if there was a fire in a car, um, you've got 35 seconds and you're gonna die if the back seat was on fire. Once it's treated, with my C29, then because it can't burn, the problem is gone. Polystyrene is a common material that is used for a variety of applications such as packaging, but it cannot resist high temperatures. Once again, Michael has invented a way and has found polystyrene particularly interesting to work with. I have successfully treated the beads of polystyrene before they're manufactured into a product. They fuse together perfectly, they become as one, and when a blow lamp, for example, is subjected onto the side of it, they sacrifice themselves on the outside, giving a, a, a hammered finish. But this sacrificial effect on the outside means that, that you've now got this area of coating which won't allow flames or temperature to creep through to the rest of it. So polystyrene is totally fireproof. This is car grease, and having been treated, now exhibits astounding heat-resisting qualities. I successfully fireproof the grease to such a degree that you can place a layer of grease on your hand and you can hold a blow lamp on it and it won't transfer the heat from the top to the bottom and burn your hand. So what we have seen is a series of remarkable demonstrations that show beyond doubt that Mick Keenan has achieved what many eminent scientists have not, to render many common materials virtually fireproof. What's more, the products you have seen are just a few that have been successfully developed. Amongst others are plastics and rubbers that also have special fire-resisting qualities. The potential for business is immense. I would dearly like to see my materials being used in industry around the world. I feel sure that it would save a lot of people's lives, I know that. What motivates me is, is just a pure fascination in chemicals. I, I just love the challenge to take a product that would normally burn and fireproof it. I like that.